today, I want to bring Jay out here and show him the Calabasas steps. Show that it symbolizes journey. And kind of get inside of his head and hear what he wants to be in this league. I want to rouse with KG because I just want to learn how to be the best I can be. Drive hard across the oh, Rejected by Jackson. There's probably no one better than KG to help me, especially playing the fourth position. KG's a Hall of Fame player, amazing talent, who brings energy on both ends of the court. I'm just excited to learn from him. Some of the characteristics I look for right away is passion, how someone goes about their job and what they put into it as far as their craft and how hungry are they. I think he wouldn't invite me here if he didn't know I was talented, but I think I, I, I want to prove to him that I'm a hard worker and that I'm willing to listen and learn. So today, I'm hoping that Jan enjoys this journey, understands what I'm trying to give him. Let's get it. Yeah. A lot of people come up to me and ask me, say, man, why, why are you doing this? Why are you, why are you helping young guys? Why are you teaching young guys? And I say, this is my responsibility. And I look at myself as a prophet. I've been able to go through things and survive it so much that I come back and I'm here to give it out. This is my duty. This is why I'm doing this. Teach mindset to make these players better. So when I look at them, I say, you know what? Look, I helped them get that. I helped them develop that. It's part of me out there. That's why I'm doing this. Next up. Yo, fella. You're looking like your dad right now. Looking right. like Pops. <laughs> looking like your Pops right now. That little not need walk naked. <laughs> How you doing, bro? I got you up nice and early and everything. Uh, you know, man. How you doing, I'm man? I'm great. So I played against your Pops, man. You probably know that, though. Yeah, right? rookie year. Yeah, no, I already bro. know that. Your dad was real, man. Shout flip. out to him, yeah? Shout out to flip, him. Man. You know what it is? This kid comes from a professional athlete. His dad played in the league. Jared Jackson, a three. They didn't name me Jaron Jackson Jr. to play volleyball. Jackson again. Will somebody guard that guy. My favorite player is my dad. Yeah, baby. You know, a lot of kids that come out privileged are not as humble as more that have to work for it. And it was refreshing to see that he was humble and had a serious work ethic. There's no pressure on me as a son of a player. I think my dad, he let me fall in love with the game on my own. I made it a goal to try to do this for the rest of my life. So look, today, I wanted to bring you out here to the steps, man. It's a journey to even get to them. You know, I wanted to kind of push the onus today to get you creative, get you to visualize, get inside your head a little bit, see what you want to be in the league. Y'all ready? Yeah. Let's do it, man. Come on. I wanted to work with Jeremy because I see a lot of myself in him. He has a great touch for a big. Uh, he's very agile. The way he finishes at the rim is athleticism. Yeah, you know, just seeing yourself in these young guys. You know, it's, it starts from there. Right now in the game, what would you say most makes up or similarities to someone's game to your or to your own? Porzingis a little bit. Ah, I the unicorn, he's... okay. Yeah, yeah, Just you see with the things he do, he just catches it, you know, pump fake. If, he, if they close out on he going right around you, he can get a jumper off anytime he's seven feet tall. You say Porzingis. Yeah. Porzingis yeah. plays with a purpose. He plays with a lot of grit. Anybody you looking forward to play? Yeah, Anthony yeah. Davis, who yeah. he, he's been just on a roll. Davis off the dribble and throws it down. Just looking forward to playing against those guys. And once you play against them, you learn from them. You're like the Kawhi of bigs. Mm -hmm. Not only can you impact and bring a presence to the office event and come down here and carry us, but I also see the, the IQ of being able to come down and get stops and protect the paint. It That's just, accurate? Yeah, you need to stop. Like, we're going to get a stop. I like that, man. Let's keep going. Yeah. Let's keep going. I know you're wondering, like, what in the hell are we and what are we doing up here, right? So as we come in here, this symbolizes the journey. Turn back on. I want to show you this. Look. Like, all oh, this right here, this is where you've been. Yep. You know what I'm saying? This right here is the first day of the league and what you want to be. But this, to me, symbolizes everything. This starts the vision for how you want to be and then how far you go. You can never let up. I know that because especially like yeah, my love for the game didn't come from somebody just drilling it into me. I developed it on my own. I love basketball. Right, right. Let's go out here and hoop. But right. the NBA kid's kid, like, that's, you want to take him down. I get like a channel, oh, daddy's better or something like that, you know. When people pick up on that, they're like, okay, 
I might eat at him in this way. I'm going to go at him like What's this. What's it do to you? Oh, what? What's it I do just, to you? It just, What's it do it to, to you? Well, I'm going to tell you what this dude right here going to do to you. This game here, it's going to pull that demon out of you. All that, all that, all that cuckoo clock that goes on in here that don't nobody else know, that's going to come out of here. Mm. You trying to rip it down or you stop and you get to taking you in this, right? That's going to all come out. That's going to all be right here. Hold that yeah. and wear that with, with like a badge. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I see a lot of kids used to shy away from that. Used to didn't want people to know. No, I'm not. Yeah. Right. What you mean? What? I'm Junior. <laughs> right. No, I'm you know about... I'm right. You gotta hold that, man. People be trying to sun you. King that. <laughs> all that, man. You mm -hmm. know that's real life. That's that's from me to you. KG's intensity is crazy. It's it's out of this world. You know he's. He's so detail oriented and he really he, he's really looking at everything under a microscope. A great sign of a true that want this is to give him a load of money. Will you still go this hard? Will you still come out here? That's the question. That's what I'm talking about. This is drive. Through tough times, it's always gonna be light at the end of the tunnel. You gotta always believe that. You gotta continue to push through things even when you know, it looks dismal. But the stairs kind of signify that. When you get to the top of that step, it's, it's just nice to look down at everything you've accomplished. All those steps below you is almost like everything you've gone over, everything you've done to get to this point, all the work you've put in, and it's just, it's nice to look at. This is what it's about, man. I want to in here, man, like coming into the league, what are your real expectations that you want to put on yourself? You know, I, I want to be an all-star. I want to be a Hall of Famer. I want to be one of the best players in the NBA when right. it's all said and done, and that just takes work. Uh, what kind of impact do you want to make first year? I, I just think just coming in and doing whatever, whatever a team needs, I think because of my game, I'm so versatile, mm -hmm. I can just add different things to any team, just, you know, the way I can stretch the floor. What would be one thing that I didn't know about you that would shock me or surprise me about you? You know, when I started playing against the best players, I would play better against the better players, and I'd play worse against, like, you know... Approach everybody like they somebody, because they are. You just don't know it. Feel me? Mm-hmm. That in this league, you have to be the one stepping on someone, because if not, who are you? You get stepped on. Right, you got to be the one stepping on someone. If not, you're the one. And that's real stuff. That's we ain't, we ain't. That's real. Everybody likes to sugarcoat things. I'm being dead ass that's, with you. That's, I'm being dead ass right. with you. Yeah. We're going to go to the gym and some work, man. Yeah, I'm about that. I'm trying to We've been up here long enough. Man, I ain't even got no bathroom in my head, man. <laughs> man, tell the chopper come get him. Tell the chopper come get him. <laughs> come on, man, let's get out of here. Yep. That's a nice little gym, right? Yes, sir. That's what's up, man. So, you know, coming in here today, man, I want to get a bunch of shots up. I want to work on some things in the post. Got gotcha. you. And uh, we bang it up. You go to fade here, and you really fit. Look, man, you got it. Man. Right. It's great, especially, you know, getting that one-on-one -on -one attention. You don't always get that from a superstar player like that. And don't get discouraged, because this is the first time we're doing this, okay? I mean, even though he's right here, he reminds me of Chris Bach being able to uh, have a, a real firm jump shot and have a lot of confidence behind that. Like when Chris Bosch came in, I can remember him not being able to put the ball on the floor too many times. This kid can do that. Stop. Once you look down at your feet, if I want to take one finger, push you over. My potential's through the roof. I know that. I'm young. I have a lot of length, and there's just a lot of things I can do with my body that most people can't, and as long as I keep developing, I'm going to be good. Today's big has to be able to trail, set picks, has to be able to hit threes, and create for others. Um, he has the ability to be all that. Make two from right here. Hold on. Now I got to get the out of here, man. We worked on a bunch of different things. We're not going to let too much out of the bag, but he had a lot of, a lot of tricks in his bag. Kill that. No, don't get this on camera, bro. This ain't, this ain't for camera, bro. No more shooting. Talk to me a lot about angles and speed and little things in the game that you don't really think about. I see him being better in the league than what he was in college. I look forward to him being one of the better players in our league to come. Hey, man, y'all can come in now. Come on. Good work today, man. Good luck, y'all. I understand something. The first thing that jumped out about you today, to me, is your skill level. There wasn't nothing that I was showing you that you couldn't do off the first try. Little small increment things right here make this game what it is. When you see guys come middle and they shoot the jump hook, you don't see them cheating and getting their head up. You don't see that. You don't see when a guy crosses over and he picks his head up. If you go back and look at Iverson when he crossed Mike, when he crossed it, got his head up. You already looking. 
I don't know who's taught you that. I don't know who's giving you that. But that's a league thing that you can only get from league players. You're going to be good, man. Yeah. More importantly, man, it's going to be up to you if you want to be better than good and be great. So yeah. tell your mom, she built a great son. Shout out to Jay Senior. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> great day today, man. Great yep. day today, man. All right, man. Pleasure. Thank, Thank you, man. You know what it is, man. I would sum up today as sensational. It's something that I really needed, you know, get my head right on what's important and stay focused. I think it's, it's a great transition to the NBA, and I'm just, I'm glad I did it. I gave Jaren an experience today, and I know that he'll never forget. I had a great day with the young boy. Couldn't ask for anything better. I like to think that we connected, and um...